Hi guys, uh, today I'm gonna be talking about five people who you didn't know were metalheads. Okay, so let's kick off with um, a small one, the Indonesian Prime Minister. Um, not sure if you guys have heard, but there was a whole thing with the uh, death penalty and um, of course an advocate of human rights, Mr. Barney Greenway of a certain napalm death um, addressed the Prime Minister with a proper letter and everything um, as he was a real napalm death fan and he thought maybe, you know, the fact that this guy's a fan <laughs> might help these people from being executed. Um, but other than that, he's uh, yeah, a pretty big grindcore fan. Um, and I would imagine that his equivalent of the, uh, the, the cabinet or the Oval Office has probably got some fucking good tunes going on. Especially, I mean, what, maybe Apex Predator kind of stuff. That was a sick album. He's gotta be jamming that. Uh, the second one is Mr. Michael C. Hall from Dexter. I don't know if you guys have watched the show, but it's absolutely fucking wicked. Especially if you're into, like, really gross horror stuff. You know, people, like, freezing people up and then chopping them up. Yeah, he was spotted, this is a while ago, um, at a Lamb of God gig. And as you may know, uh, Rami Bly is a uh, photographer. And he took a couple of shots of the guy. And um, yeah, they just ended up sort of hanging out and um, I think he signed an autograph for them. Uh, but as in Randy signed an autograph for uh, Michael C. Hall, who is Dexter. Um, and yeah, he seems like a, a pretty big metal fan. Um, and Randy didn't end up dead, so he's not really a serial killer either. Uh, <laughs> following on is Mr. Carl Drogo himself. I forget the name. Um, he created a playlist on Spotify which was fucking insane, man. Like, it had cattle decapitation on it, you know, some of the heaviest death metal you could think of. I think Cannibal Corpse was on there as well. So, the guy's clearly got some brilliant taste in metal. Um, I mean, the Anthropocene Extinction is like, well, it's definitely one of my favorite albums of 2015. That was just absolutely flawless. Um, so, when he's being all Drogo-y, you know that he's listening to good music. So that moves on to Michael Fassbender, Mr. Man, um, the alien himself. It appears that David would have been listening to, uh, what was it, it was Slayer, uh, Megadeth, Metallica, so I mean it's kind of entry level thrash, but still thrash man, you know, you can't can't fault it. And Pantera as well. You wouldn't really think it, but it's great. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy happy for the guy and he's, uh, he's a pretty fucking cool dude to have in, in metal. I mean, he's fucking Magneto. And finally is Chris Hemsworth himself. Um, so Thor probably would like metal, wouldn't he? He's got a big fucking hammer, so he's gotta be an Amonomath fan, let's face it. Um, but Chris Hemsworth himself likes, again, the sort of thrashier kind of stuff. Uh, he's into Sepultura, um, Slayer. I'm sure we could probably persuade him into getting into some Anthrax as well. That is my top five uh, celebrities for now, which like metal, I'm sure there's gonna be more. We need to get them into more metal. Thanks for watching and um, see you later.